Right, what's up everyone? As I said in my last video, there's lots going on in the MTR space. And the last video was on MTR on Windows version five, filled to the brim full of goodness and all that sort of thing, continuing the theme with MTR on Windows, this time I'm paying attention to the Pro Management Portal, which has a new trick up its sleeve, which is remote access. So here was the announcement tile that you can find in your PMP home screen, if you like. It says Teams Room Pro Management Remote Access. Basically, this means exactly what you think it does. It means you can actually control an MTR from the Pro Management Portal, just like you would with third-party tools uh, such as TeamViewer, Bobgar. Uh, the list goes on. There's a few steps you need to actually enable this feature uh, and uh, handily, as you can see, there's a big link in there for the documentation. So let's just switch over to the documentation tab. Right, okay, so now we've got setup remote access in the, in the Teams Pro Manager portal. Right, so there's a couple of steps you need to take in order to get this thing going. The first, as you can see here, is that it requires opt-in at a tenant level. The next, you need to create a custom RBAC role in the PMP. And of course, there's a few prerequisites. Of course, you need Teams Rooms Pro license. Uh, everything needs a pro license these days. So get used to that. If you want anything cool, go buy the pro license. Do not let your friends use Teams Rooms Basic. It says here you also need to install the Visual C++ redistributable. Uh, I didn't actually do this, but it actually it works. Uh, you need to uh, prepare your network. So there's some other bits and pieces that you need to do here. You need to make sure that you allow some URLs. And that's pretty much it for prerequisites. There's a few limitations, of, of course, as well. So it's not available currently in GCC, GCC High, or DoD. Um, it's not available in the Teams Room multi-tenant portal. Most of you won't know what that actually means. That's really just a, uh, a special version of the Pro Management Portal that was reserved for, for a certain few types of reseller. You can only access this inside of your own tenant, not in other tenants. And of course, it's only available in selected markets. I don't know exactly what markets that means. I know it works for me here in the UK. It's obviously going to, going to work in the US. Um, and I, I'm sure it's going to be uh, in, in a lot of different markets anyway. Uh, if I can find out some limitations, I'll let you know. Uh, Supported platforms, you need to be on Windows 11 on the Teams Room for Windows device. It won't work if you're still on Windows 10. So if you need to, go get updating to Windows 11. That fixes a lot of things anyway. It also enables uh, a bunch of really cool things. And of course, you're going to get version 5 uh, and 4 be uh, before that and a few other things. Um, so yeah, go ahead get get updating to Windows 11 if you haven't already. And you need the Microsoft Edge browser. I haven't tried this in any other browser. I actually tend to use Edge anyway. There's some few bits and pieces here about data and privacy and that sort of thing. And then it gets to the good stuff. So to enable remote access, you need to sign into the Pro Management Portal. Uh, and you need the right uh, administrative privileges. And you need to go to settings and then remote access. So let's go over here expand settings and then I'm going to and then down here I've got remote access as you can see I've already ticked the remote access box you also need to provide an email address for the contact on record for turning on this feature this is for audit purposes I've put in my email address and then you press save and then it kind of expands down into this lower section just here so the next step, you need to go to settings, then roles, and then you create a custom role, which grants the permission. It, this permission isn't included in the, uh, the def default admin role. You need to create a custom role, which has these two permissions in that role. Then you need to assign the role to a specific set of users and then finish and save and then you're ready to rock with remote access. So let's go back to the Pro Manager portal and then go over to, to roles. 
just going to create a new role from scratch. PMP remote. Just going to copy and paste that. You don't have to tick any other boxes here except for these two here. The remote access view and modify. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that back in there as well for speed. Um, you can create email notifications to email the users uh, when they've actually been assigned this role. Press next. And then to add a user, going to add a user there. And press next. So now you can assign this to specific rooms, or if you've got any groups, you could go ahead and do that. So you can see this is a list of all my rooms, but I've also got some groups that I've created earlier. Um, so I can actually uh, add in MTR for Windows as a room group, then press next. Then you review all the settings, and then you add that new role. Right, you can see I've actually got a previous role that I created and assigned to myself. Now to use it, it's pretty simple. So let's just go back and review this uh, documentation tab. Using remote access, you go to the Teams uh, Pro Management Portal, you choose the rooms, you open up a room that you actually want to do uh, remote access in, and then it should be pretty obvious. Okay, so gonna go back to here, gonna open up rooms, I've filtered by MTR on Windows. I am just going to open up a healthy room there. You can see I've got status settings, events, activity, etc., etc. Right over here, I've got remote access. So I'm just going to click on the remote access tab. And I'm guessing that all I need to do is press start session. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to press start session. Right, so this is the remote window when it first opens. Um, you can see I've actually just got the touch console here. So I've got a few buttons across the top. I'm just going to look at see what those actually are. If I hover over that, it says restart device. If I wanted to restart the device, I could just go ahead and do that. Next up, I've got a more button to issue some, some shortcut commands. Control, escape, print screen, that sort of thing. I can also enable... Uh, re uh, restart after the session finishes. I've got a help menu. I can cycle between the two displays. So you can see I've got a drop down list for the MTR console, which you can see there, and then the front of room display. If I had two displays plugged in, it would list both of the uh, displays, front of room display one and front of room display two. Here I can go into full screen mode and here I can do a zoom to fit. So I'm just gonna click on that, give you a bit more of what I'm seeing now. So you can see if I hover over these buttons, it's as though I've actually got a mouse actually connected to the MTR, even though I don't. I'm actually interacting with this thing through the remote access window. I can get at everything, I can start a meeting, I can get at the call, I can share my screen, I can get at the more, change language, like I showed you in the last video. But for now, I'm just going to go back to here. I can also raise a ticket, so if I wanted to remotely, I could report a problem or give some feedback, which of course will go to the, to the pro management portal. If there were meetings listed here, I could just press the join button. So for now, I'm, all I'm gonna do is press meet now. So I can see the MTR, it's actually next to me. Uh, the front of room display is over here. The touch console is right by my hand. So just to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and cycle between the MTR console and the front room display. So you can see I've actually got the front room display. I'm just gonna click in the open space there. It doesn't really do anything. You can see I've actually got that dial in info. Now if I go back to the console, it takes a couple of seconds. I can actually just drive this and call another room account. All right, so you can see Nostromo is actually in here. If I toggle back and forth between the console and the front room display, you can see, I can see in full screen, the actual meeting that's going on. Again, a little behind the scenes look. Let's go back to the console. 
And that's it. That's pretty much the feature. Since you're just remoting onto the MTR console, you could do anything you can do remotely that you can do in person, either using your fingers or a mouse, something like that. So, which means you can start a meeting to troubleshoot some stuff. You can call yourself to judge the video or audio quality in a room. You can get at the settings on the device and change things remotely. You can go further and actually go into the window settings. Anything you can do uh, in person, you can do that remotely. Of course, that's going to speed up troubleshooting time and help you look after your, your room estate and keep them nice and healthy. And then when you're done, all you do is press end session. Now the session has actually ended and it goes back to the remote access tab uh, exactly where I was before. And that's it. That's the whole feature. That's the whole video. Again, if you're into this kind of thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video.